Should the arms be straight or bent throughout the swing? Let's take a look at the arm position in the backswing and the through swing. So we've all heard, you know, should the lead arm be straight in the backswing? How straight should it be? And whatnot. Now, some of the older videos of Mo Norman show a slightly bent lead arm, and I really don't mind a slight bend of the lead arm, believe it or not. Well, what was your record for hitting the ball without knocking the key out? Yeah. Iron five. This way. He's there. He's never going this way. Oh, no, no, sure. I don't oh, yeah. have the biggest right. Well, that's what I'm trying to get. It's not Mo Norman for nothing. That's a better follow through, Mo. <laughs> I like that. It's wrong down that line square. Yeah. Way out there. Is that what it is? Yeah. What? Now, what happens when you bend the arm is you'll see the ar hands will travel a bit further in the swing. So, if I was to have a slightly bent arm in my lead arm, you would see a little bit, the arms go back a little further, but I don't necessarily mind that. It's a sequencing thing, and I believe the arms are passive, so you're getting a kind of a passive motion of the arms in the motion as opposed to active arms in the downswing. So I don't might mind a little bend of the arm at the top of the backswing. I keep mine pretty straight, but a little bend is not a bad thing. <laughs> but what's interesting is on the through swing, because a lot of people don't pay much attention to the arm position in the through swing, but I got an interesting view on the lead arm position and the trail arm position after you strike the ball. Because when you're talking about this side of the golf swing and, you, and you're working on this side of the golf swing, the, the arm position here is reflecting on the position of the body here. In other words, if your body's incorrect, your arms are, are trying to compensate in their rotation for a bad body position. So we must discuss, which I, which I think is a very valuable thing, is discuss what's happening on this side of the plane. Because if you get this side right, we've got to get the release and get this side right. So here's what I want your lead arm to look like and your trail arm to look like after you've hit a golf ball. So check it out. So, you know, you've struck a golf ball and then you, both arms go through an extension. But see, this arm is straight, but it's rotated. See, this would be a straight arm, but this is a straight arm too. So what's happening here is you've struck a golf ball, this arm is bent, this arm straightens. Look what happened there. This arm goes through a rotation. It's, it's a torso rotation, right? So it's, it's rotating. Now look, it's good. from this position, it's going to fold up. See how the arm went through a slight rotation and then it folds up and it's rotating with my torso. And then it folds up. See that? Now, that's the position I want the arm. I want to see the arm fold up just like that. It just it goes through that rotation of the torso and then it folds and that puts the shaft back on the plane. So watch this again. Watch the shaft go back to the plane. See that? So that's the lead arm position. Now look at this arm. This arm, I want it to bend. Watch what happens. So I want it to straighten, but then I want it to bend. When, well, after it goes through its extension, I want it to bend a little bit because when it bends, it allows this to stay stable. Watch my lead shoulder now relative to my trail arm. See that? So it allows it to, and it's, it's, not, it's not bending right here, right? it's not here doing here, but it's, it's extending, extension, and then let it bend. Because I don't want this to keep moving because I'm trying to reduce the movement and make you more efficient. This is slowing down. So this is getting through here and it's slowing down and this folds because that's slowing down and this also bends up. So you get this, you get this view I'm going to swing this really easy so you can watch my arm motion here. And just watch, watch the motion of the arms. See that? So what you get is that. So I want this shoulder stopping, I want this arm folding, and I want this arm to have a little relaxation to it 
on the finish, that's going to allow a major amount of arm speed to be efficient. So now watch this. I'll choke down so you can kind of see what's going on here. I'm going to kind of exaggerate this a little bit. See, this is folding. Watch the speed here, and you see the speed occurring. See that? What you're getting is stabilization, fold, acceleration. That's where speed is produced, right in this area. And so the problem that I see with most people is they're very inefficient with this side of their body, with this arm position. And, and by the way, this helps the bottom of the swing occur. So they're very inefficient here, and so they cannot be efficient here. Both sides, this side and this side go together. I want you to work on your efficiency of how you go from here to here. Let this fold, let this slightly bend after, after you've gone through its extension. And there's, there's your work. I want you to be able to hold this position right here. I want you to be able to hit a golf shot and hold your finish just like this and look just like Mo Norman. That's, you'll see that efficient motion of body stopping and acceleration because the arms can work correctly.